Yeah, good day YouTubers. Uh, I'd just like to share this with you. Uh, this is part one of my, my column, my new column I'm going to build. So that's my old store. It's just got a, a two inch column on. And I'll just give a quick size of the measurement. And it's uh, about 66. 66 uh, centimeters. The old one. The uh, new one I'm going to make, that's just going to be, um, going to make a, going to cut this off here, make the hole bigger. The reason for the hole to make it bigger is so I can fit, I bought a couple of things which I will show you later. I've got to take this, so that's going to fit through the lid and screwed with the brass nut on the opposite side. This part is going to be welded onto the stainless steel tubing, just like that. So that will fit through the lid of the pressure cooker. That's just a, a normal zinc fitting. This will also help to uh, hold in the saddles as well as the stainless steel pot scourers. So I'll show you a couple of things I bought. We'll start from this end. Now I've got a couple of elbows. I've got two elbows there. The one elbow will be the outlet. And that one will be the inlet. That's just a normal hose joiner. They will be welded on like that. That will be the inlet for the cold water. This is a T-piece, which is just eight, they're all 8 millimeters. Um, that side and that side is all 8 millimeters. Um, it's got a hole in it, so it's just a normal T-piece, just like that. That's so you can fit the probe in of the, your temperature, digital temperature gauge. So, just an example like that. I actually bought a couple of ferrules because if the hole is too big, I can just use the ferrules to take the space up. Um, so, let me just get rid of that ferrule. So, if the hose is too big, like that, see it's got too much side play, you can just use the ferrule and just weld it on. Or use either use epoxy or good high heat epoxy. Um, it's only going to get about 70 degrees on it. Um, also on the inlet, I've got to fit a, a needle valve to control the water flow. This is the hose I'm going to be using. It's just a, a normal reinforced hose, which is eight millimeters, five sixteen. Um, 120 psi 0.83 MPa, which doesn't need to be high pressure, it's just an outlet hose, but it's a good quality hose. The copper tubing uh, that I've got here is a quarter, quarter inch, uh, 0.64 millimeters. The whole thickness is 0.028 inches or 0.71 millimeters. The length of it is 25 feet, 7.62 meters, and the pressure is 1,334 psi, or 92 bars. That's all I've got. Uh, all these parts are basically most of the parts, this tubing, and that stainless steel pipe, which is a 304 stainless steel pipe. Uh, touch with 304 it's a good stainless steel 316 is probably better it's more shinier too um, yeah the, the copper tube again it's quarter inch 6.4 millimeters that's the outside diameter of it outside diameter so yeah just quarter inch all thickness. All right. So then, show you the length of it. So we'll put a, 
measuring tape on. It's a bit upside down. That's 120 centimeters. I'll get my little ruler. Just bear with me. So, the stainless steel part is 76. 76 millimeters which is three inches so uh, if you can see that it's three inches I'll come around the table I'll show you a, a couple of other things which I bought this is a just a, a brass nut that actually screws onto this drain if I flip it upside down, you can see it's got a rubber washer on it. It will help to seal off on the, the pressure cooker's lid. This will be at the bottom side of the of the lid. This uh, this big nut, and it will just screw on just like that. This I bought so I can maybe modify it and, and put on the inside inside of that. So. They will help to keep any uh, steel wool pots covers in or the ceramic saddles. Now the size of this, I'll just show you the, the size is the outside from side to side is about about 58 millimeters roughly. That's just to give you an idea. I'll flip this one around. The size of that is uh, just over three inches, about three and a half inches. So that accommodates a three inch pipe. It will go on top of it or 87, 87 millimeters. Then I got these Welsh plugs. Look like Welsh plugs. Um, they're about $22 each. It costs a lot of money. So I bought two of them. One's going to go on the top end. One at the bottom end of the actual coil that I'm going to wind. And that's going to be the reflux condenser. Then I've got this one which is going to fit just on the inside of it. That's just to catch the vapors so it doesn't go straight into the outlet part. So that's going to basically sit like that. And the condenser is going to have two holes that runs through it where the two pipes of the, the actual condenser uh, tubing is going to go out and through that lid, which I will show you in part two when I've made it. So I'm going to show you this is going to be basically how the the inlet is going to go on, the outlet will go on the opposite side probably or just next to it. So we'll have one inlet, one outlet, just like that. Then I'm going to have my outlet that's going to come out on the top end, just like that. So that's going to be the in inlet for the cold water and the hot water coming out of it at about 60 degrees so on the inlet tap we're going to have what I call a micro uh, needle valve that's just to control the water flow so it doesn't flow too quick or too slow we're looking at about 500 moles per minute when it's running this is just going to be at the bottom of it sort of that's just to catch the vapors that comes up directly just underneath the coil. Uh, it's just going to be on top of the coil actually. So the vapors is going to catch onto the coil and that's that's what's going to happen is when the vapors catches the coil it recondenses. The vapors that comes up will be about because alcohol boils at about 78, 79 degrees. It's going to catch onto the coil which is about 60 degrees or we're going to control it so the outlet water is about 60 degrees. And that will cause it to actually condense and drop down onto uh, the ceramic ferrules. 
So that's all I can show you. That's what I'm going to be making. Um, yeah, I think I basically covered everything. So, yeah, and this is a unicoil. This is what I'll be, be, be using to make 90 degree bends with the copper tubing. It's just a copper inch, uh, a quarter inch made by Gates called a unicoil. That's where you put a tubing in on the inside of it, just like this. And then you can, you can actually bend it 90 degrees or what angle you like. So, the zinc thing I used is, is a Harbic waste and rubber stopper. That's for a bath or zinc. I don't know if you can see that properly. I'll try and focus it. It's a 50 by 45 millimeters. And I showed you the length on a little stainless steel ruler of the width of it. So on the outlet I'm actually going to use a, a 3 quarter inch or 20, 20 millimeter for the outlet which is going to run into my thumper which I'll show you in a part 2 section. So this is my boiler. That's a pressure cooker that's been routed onto this 50 litre stainless steel keg. That's going to be cut off. So I'll just undo it. This is a temperature gauge which is currently off. So that's all things you can buy off, off you, uh, eBay. These digital th thermometers. That's stainless steel tubing I bought off, off eBay. These copper things and zinc things I bought from Masters or Bunnings. Um, the elbows I bought from the place that uh, carries them. Um, you can find out NZ or all those places that might have it. Um, yeah, the scope tubing I got from the UK. And a lot of things you can get from the plumbers or masters or bunnings. Stainless steel pot, you can probably get them from Kmart for around $50. Or you can buy them on eBay. Have a look on eBay. So, I just undo that. So, this is how it looks on the inside. So, that's just the probe of the temperature gauge. That's a stainless steel pot scourer that just holds in the ceramics. That's basically, basically the outlet valve for the steam to come out. So this thing is 100% safe. If it does build up pressure, this will lift up and it will just blow off. But it's, it's no pressure when it boils. No pressure. It's just um, basically just the uh, what you call it, that the fumes it rises. And that's just a couple of things I got on the inside of it. But um, yeah, that's a pressure cooker. It's been welded onto, thick welded, with thick welded. A 50 litre beer keg or one keg. And yeah, that's, that's about it. That's part one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.